Even though Godot 4.3 was released just some days ago, the development of Godot 4.4 has already started. So basically today we are going to be discussing this new version. So basically here we have this new version Godot 4.4 dev 1. The interesting thing is that it was released basically today, 26th of August and uh, Godot 4.3 was officially released on uh, the 15th of August, okay, which means basically uh, creates here a difference of 11 days. And this is amazing because Guru 4.3 brought um, super, super interesting features and also a huge um, number of new things. So the fact that just 10 days later they were able to uh, bring here a brand new update is something that is quite appreciated. However, th something that we do have to note in this first version is that, well, in Groove 4.3, they were accumulating a, a lot of minor book fixes, a lot of minor features that they wanted to get uh, introduced in the previous version, basically in Groove 4.3, because basically they were too risky to be included in Groove 4.3. That's the key point. And they wanted, of course, to release 4.3 as soon as possible. So basically they have started merging all those uh, pull requests. So uh, mostly everything that is included in this dev one um, basically has to do with BRs that were thought to be actually implemented in Godot 4.3. Now, in terms of the new stuff, even though, as I told you, these are changes that were meant to be implemented in 4.3, they are still quite interesting. The first one is the implementation of metal, okay? And as it is stated here, it's basically um, other uh, graphics engines similar to Vulkan. And basically what I'm seeing here is that they are going to be using a library called Molten VK uh, to run Vulkan over Metal um, in the platforms that um, neither Vulkan nor D3, D12 uh, were supported, basically on Mac OS and iOS. And now we also have other thing that has been introduced in 3D and those are the 3D physics interpolation. So as you probably already know, this feature was already introduced in the 2D physics engine of Godot as well. As we have seen maybe in some past videos, it doesn't have that many bad things or that many things that could be improved if we compare it to other engines. In fact, it does provide an amazing performance and amazing behaviors. But well, in 3D, it is still does have some things that could be fixed. But well, with now this interpolation, I think that the video that here Godot provides just is self-explanatory about what it does. But it will basically make the physics will add this interpolation. And by adding this interpolation, it, makes it, it basically makes the physics behavior um, much, much smoother. So indeed, now in Godot 4.3, we had uh, 2D physics interpolation and now in Godot 4.4 dev 1 we also have 3D physics interpolation basically making better both physics engines. We also have just some small changes, some new small feature that can also be turned on and off, basically the line map Vicovic sampling that basically smooths the sharp edges but well as this basically takes a little bit more of power in the PC um, that is going to be running the game. This can also be turned off as uh, as well. We also have the new implementation of Betsy. This is a texture compressor that basically makes the task of compressing different images a little bit faster than the compressor that currently Godot is used to using. So now, when you are importing any kind of image with this new compressor, you should be able to have less waiting time. And well, we also have optimizations in a lot of areas that include the engine. We also have a small list of other new features, but well, I didn't find anything that was worth mentioning. But anyway, you can pause the video and read this uh, on your own. And well, even though this is a dev uh, version and in this kind of version, there aren't usually that many changes, that many improvements. In this version, we have more than 200 um new things and also over 100 of contributors which is quite quite a huge amount of new things to check out if we compare it to other uh, dev releases that we have had of course if we just open up the new version of Godot, as you can see here i am on 4.4 dev 1 
we don't see much changes. The only thing that I see over here is the fact that now in the file system, the the button to change the split mode is a little bit different. I don't think this was the same button that we used to have in 4.3, but well, this isn't something super interesting to check out um, because basically this allows you to break down into two different sections, let's say the file system that could be helpful in some time, but well, I think that more, most of us just use the file system like this. But well, also, if you don't know something that is pretty cool that was introduced in Growth 4.3, it's the fact that now you can move to the bottom this file system. So you can go to these three dots, move to bottom, and now you will have this entire window here. By default, you will have here the same window, but well, you also have here the file system. So this creates um, an interface much more similar to the interface that, for example, we may have in Unity. So this interface for handling bigger projects for handling more files, I think that it is a little bit uh, better than by default having it um, on the left. Something that, for example, I didn't find an option is to move it back, okay, to the default position. Um, so as you can see, you can expand it, uh, you can close it, make it floating, move it to other dock position. Um, but well, I, I didn't find a button to just like restore its position. So it would be something quite interesting if it could be provided. Um, because for example, you can, I don't know, make it floating and try to move it to here, but you're not going to be able to do that. Of course, uh, even if you close the floating window, it, it will just come back to here. Uh, if you try to move it with a dock position, it is not going to work. Um, so the only way that I personally found of restoring this was to go to editor, editor layout, and basically restoring it to the default layout. But anyway, I think that this could be pretty good if we could actually restore this without having to actually change uh, the layout. So this was pretty much all that I had to mention about Growth 4.4 Dev1. I am always uploading the latest news on uh, the new versions of Growth. As you saw, today 4.4 was released and today I am uploading this new content. So if you always want to keep up to date with the latest growth news, with the latest growth updates, make sure that you're actually subscribed to the channel. I hope we can see each other in the next one and see you. Bye bye.